Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Now in this video, we are going to be doing your May 1st through the 15th love and general reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I am doing $10 readings as well, so all that info will be down below, including a video link that will redirect you guys to how I do my readings, the layouts I do, all that before you guys order a personal reading with me. But let's see what the overall energy is for the first two weeks. We have the temple path reversed, okay? So Aquarius, there is some type of new path that is being available to you here. Some of you guys are not following through with it, or there's just some worries and doubts if this is the right path for you here, okay? Yeah, we have journey at the bottom of the deck, so whether you guys are actually traveling or this is just something more internal with you guys, that's going to bring a lot of prosperity and maybe even love here. Um, I do see that you guys could have some trouble working with people because this does add up to a three. Three is kind of a challenging number, but let's go ahead and see what your six card spread is. Okay, Aquarius, let's check it out. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. First two weeks of May. Let's give this a quick shuffle. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. The Seven of Swords. The Ace of Cups reversed. The Nine of Cups. And let's pull one more card and we'll do clarifiers for these as well. The Four of Swords. Okay. So the signs that I'm seeing here are Pisces and Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, and we have a Virgo. The Virgo showing up reverse, that's all I'm gonna say. Or this could just mean that you are coming out of a period here of deep reflection, a period of isolation as well. Okay, and some of you guys are just moving on with the Prince of Wands here. You guys are feeling better. You guys are finally making moves, moves that in regards to career, are very passionate very fun for you in regards to love you guys may be in a bit of player mode or just moving away from somebody I do see that there is an offer being rejected here either from your side or vice versa and I see you guys just very much um, happy single with the nine of cups happily single but let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers let's check out the Prince of Wands. Prince of Wands, we have the Three of Swords. So yeah, you guys are moving away from heartbreak. Okay, some of you guys are a bit of heartbreakers here is what I want to say. Whether this be in regards to a relationship or just things in your life that have really caused heartache to you. I see you guys traveling, I see you guys moving away from people, places, and things, and getting your groove back in, getting your mojo back. Let's see what this Eight of Pentacles is. When the Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse, this to me is not working on something anymore. There may have been some sort of deceit, manipulation, things going on behind the scenes that you may have found out or that your intuition was just bugging you about. I see you not working on it with this person, place, or thing and just getting the hell out. Some of you guys may be hopping into a heartbreak here, so just be careful with who you're hanging out with. Listen to your intuition. The Eight of Pentacles, we have justice reversed. 
So some of you guys are getting out of a marriage, getting out of a divorce, or just getting out of situations that were just plain unfair. Some of you guys, this is a Libra who may have been deceiving you, a Taurus that may have been deceiving you here. You're not wanting to work on it, or this person was just not putting in the work to keep you, or to, you know, maybe not put a ring on it, what have you. But let's see what the Seven of Swords is all about. In regards to the legal battle, or legal situations, there may have been some sort of nasty legal thing going on or things were unfair maybe in regards to money as well or a child i do see you moving on to better times seven of swords we have the ten of swords so this is a betrayal and i feel like for some of you this person may have been trying to keep you stuck trying to play you trying to hide that they were betraying you in some type of way here okay yeah oh my goodness we have the queen of swords so aquarius i feel like this is your energy or this could be somebody else's um but the queen of swords is the queen of cutting things out of her life okay you are cutting this person place or thing out we have the ace of cups reversed We have the Hierophant reversed. So here's that Taurus. They're showing up reversed. Um, this could also be a marriage. Like I said, you were getting out of a divorce, a third party situation. You may have turned down in Taurus or vice versa here, or turned down some type of commitment. And you're feeling much happier with the Nine of Cups. You're feeling like you made the right decision and you're just happy single by yourself let's see what the nine of cups wants to say there's a virgo here who really wants to show up as well with the nine of cups we have the five of wands some of you guys may have won this legal battle here or you are going to win this fight there may have been competition or pettiness here in regards to whatever this is and I see you coming out on top and how you're going to win is just by not playing okay or if you guys are being petty what have you I see you guys winning okay the last card we have is the four of swords so the four of swords talks about coming into some type of truth the four of swords also talks about healing after a heartbreak here we have the three of cups you are coming into some type of truths about a third party is pretty much what I'm getting here. Let's pull one more card. Yeah, and you're coming to some decision here as well where you do not want to go back to anything that has been causing you any sort of trouble. So let's go ahead and pull a card of advice for you guys. We have the chariot at the bottom of the deck here, so you guys are moving forward. You guys are overcoming this difficulty here. And Nine of Cups and the chariot, you guys are turning out victorious, okay? So let's go ahead and choose a card of advice for you. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what card wants to come out for you. May 1st through the 15th, what advice? we have go the distance wow this is a really good card i feel like you guys are finally at the end of something you are finally going to accomplish something whether this be getting out of a relation for all of you or just going down a new path here one that you're going to turn out very successful and very happy with with happy happy so don't give up yet you're almost at the finish line and this is encouragement to to, to keep on going Okay, this card talks about strength, it talks about endurance, so keep
keep the faith, keep the strength, and keep going because you're almost done. You're almost there. So Aquarius, that is all I have for you here. Thank you so much for watching and get at me for those readings. I'll see you guys later. Bye Aquarius.